The female reproductive system assessment can be remembered by this story, the assessman assessing Vanessa's world-famous flowers in her flower shop. The assessment starts with asking the patient about their past genitourinary and gynecological history, represented as the past medical history form. The patient may report concerns such as acute pelvic pain or recurrent UTIs, but may also disclose history of preventative reproductive care, like using condoms to prevent pregnancies or STIs, or their adherence to regular pap smears. Finish the health history by asking any recurrent or past medication use with regards to the reproductive and overall health. Remember this by the med bottles. Next, urine collection and noting characteristics can be performed, and an empty bladder is needed prior to a pelvic examination. Recall this with a urine collection. Begin the pelvic examination by inspecting external genitalia, portrayed by the assessed man inspecting the external vagina violet. This is followed by palpating external genitalia with a gloved hand, represented by the pawing of the external vagina violet. Assess the condition of the labia minora and majora, vaginal introitus, and note any tenderness, hardness, or masses. Following this exam, inspect internal genitalia using a lubricated speculum, shown by inspecting the internal vagina violet. And ensure comfort for the patient by warming the speculum with warm water and counsel the patient during the examination about pressure when inserting. Encourage the patient to relax and take slow, deep breaths to decrease vaginal tension against the speculum. Examine the vaginal wall for color, texture, and integrity while inserting the speculum, pictured here by examining the vagina violet wall. Once fully and comfortably inserted, look for and examine the cervix for color, position, size, shape, mucosal integrity, and discharge. Recall this with the cervix certificate. After inspection and if clinically indicated, obtain a pap smear and additional cultures from in and around the cervix. Finish the pelvic examination by palpating internal genitalia and performing a bimanual examination with two gloved fingers and a gloved hand on the patient's lower abdomen. Remember this by the paw at the internal vagina violet. Note abnormal findings and follow-up care as appropriate for the patient pictured in this picmonic literally. In summary, start the female reproductive system assessment by asking the patient about their past genitourinary and gynecological history, current and past medication use. The external genitalia examination includes inspection and palpation of the external genitalia. Next, inspect the internal genitalia by using a lubricated speculum and examine the vaginal wall for color, texture, and integrity during insertion. Once fully inserted, find and examine the cervix for color, position, shape, mucosal integrity, and discharge. Collect a pap smear and other cultures if needed. Finish the internal genitalia examination by palpating the internal genitalia with a gloved finger and perform a bimanual examination to note adnexal features. Note and document any abnormal findings found during the assessment. Vanessa's flower shop is getting quite the attention for her show-stopping flowers. And as the assessed man, I have to find out why. First, I start by reading the critic's raving reviews about the shop's past history and endorsements about her floral elixirs and medications, both past and current. You can see them proudly displayed in the window. The critic, you are in, seems excited about her collection and notes characteristics to her success so you know I had to assess it too. Next, I see the shop for myself and inspect her most popular flower, the Vagina Violet. They weren't dandelying, it's breathtaking. I paw at it to get a better look. But why is it so special? I have to take a look inside. What incarnation! To my surprise, I saw a beautiful wall of violets with outstanding vivid colors, textures, and integrity. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our head-to-toe assessments Picmonic's. We've got all the content you'll need to remember.
everything from cognitive abilities assessment, cerebellar assessment, skull, scalp, and hair assessment, head, face, and neck assessment, eye assessment, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.